early morning in the terminal and we're gonna do this uh, we're gonna sign in just show you the sign in process oh my god basically we log into our uh, routing app okay we're gonna put in our um, truck number for this route today's route that asks for a PD card and it's gonna ask you for a vehicle and odometer so the current odometer is that 73,000 miles hey guys and welcome back to effects vlogs it's bright and early today and today I'm gonna to talk about how drivers navigate through your town using GPS or without using GPS now a long time ago they used to use a something called the turn by turn which basically was a piece of paper and instructions and where your next stops were but now we have technology no problem <laughs> I just delivered a package in but now we have technology you guys seen my uh, scanner um, I always use it to scan packages and anytime a package is delivered it updates you in real time when the package is delivered and I also brought the iPad usually I don't use the iPad because I know the streets already I'm going to show you what the app is like called Ground Cloud. It's another way to navigate drivers throughout the town. But let's start with the scanner first. My scanner already routes the route. My scanner routes the packages from sections, I guess you can say. Starting with the section that's closest to the terminal and working our way away from the terminal. Alright, so this is what my manifest looks like. It's just a list and pretty much you follow that list. Uh, the most important thing are these little numbers. As you can see, this is how the, we set up our trucks by numbers. You can see the numbers started around 1,000 and end up around 20 and the numbers end up around 2,500. So basically what that means is basically what that means is that's how you sell up your truck as you can see. As you can see I put the lower numbers here at the front and all the way in the back are the 2,500s, 2,400s, 2,300s. So instead of digging through all the way in the back I just work my way from the front to the back. Now if I press detailed view you can see that um, there's a little icon called directions, which pretty much is the GPS. And if we click on one, it'll take us to a GPS. Yep, and there you go. So if you, in case you don't know a street or if you get lost, GPS is there to help you find the stop. And here also a couple of settings. Night mode just makes it turn dark. Uh, is that better to see for you guys? I will just keep it like that. And there's three options you can have for, um, navigation you got google maps and ways um like i said i don't really use navigation because i pretty much know these streets um yep so whichever you prefer i know ways they have like coins you collect on the road so if you want to do that you can google maps you can never go wrong with google maps in fact navigation is simple uh i prefer google maps then ways then fix navigation uh, and here's some other options. Basically, um, this one shows you the closed stops, the ones that you already closed, and just gives you options for what you can see on your manifest, pretty much. Name of the person, address of the person. Apparently, you could use the camera to scan, which I do not use. And you have, this is an option. This is a good option for newer drivers. So this is a good option for newer drivers. Automatic navigation. Basically, once you uh, finish at one stop it'll automatically navigate you to the next stop so you don't have to keep pressing the navigation button or direction button to um, keep going and stuff so yeah that's pretty much it in a nutshell if you're a new driver starting out I highly recommend you follow a manifest or just the list just going down the list and doing it how it does it can be wrong sometimes but for the most part it's right there are some cases where it takes you uh, in the middle of nowhere sometimes there's a package that's wrongly scanned into the manifest so like if there was a package that the package handler scanned from a different town and put them in my town the it goes a little haywire another thing that makes the scanner go a little haywire is the pickup times there are time constraints it doesn't really do a good job playing where the time constraints are on the list also this is the map view as you can see i started right here these are the ones i've done and we work our way up uh, these are like 1100s, 1200s, 1300s. These are like the 15 to 2000s. And once it hits the 2000s, it turns red. So this like 2000s and this like the 2500s or 2500. The purple ones are the ones that are inserted. Um, and that's why they're purple. Maybe the system at FedEx messed up and they didn't know which uh, route it went to. So 
they looked at the address, they saw that it belonged to this route, and they scanned it into this one, and it turned to purple. I also forgot to show you guys the pickups. As you can see, I'm going to hold steady. There are pickup times right here. I have like four or five of these. And basically, you have to um, scan the packages between these times. So there's one at 2 at 4, 3 to 5, and 4 to 5. So if I finish early, I have to wait for these pickups to be finished as well. So my last pickup here is, around, is at 4 o'clock. I always have to finish at 4 o'clock, even if I finish early. So that's what sucks about pickups. I know everyone doesn't have pickups like I do. I live in the suburbs, I believe that's why. Here where I work and probably most cities, you're gonna have late pickups that you're gonna have to wait for. So it's unfortunate, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And pickups are also one of the reasons why my contractor changed the pay to hourly. Because it's not really fair for someone who has early pickups on one route to get paid the same as someone who has late pickups that they have to wait till four o'clock, so. Let me show you what the truck looks like. Um, yep, I'm driving the small truck again. So we have 140 stops and 188 packages. Uh, we do have some businesses on the right side and left side is mostly the residential houses. That's it for now, but I'll show you guys the iPad later, probably at the end of the day. And let's just get going. Not one, not two, not three, but four Chewies, guys, to this one house. Rip me. Yeah, there was definitely no way I was doing that in one trip. Ugh, tired. Guys, pro tip, can't find the bathroom, find the construction site, and use the porta potty uh, porta potties are not nicest. It's really hot in here, but if you have to go, you have to go. I know it's a little weird using it, but uh, if all the construction workers really don't mind, they probably understand that I'm in the truck all day and bathrooms are limited. All right, guys, we're at the mall. We got Chick-fil-A. All right, guys, we got the waffle fries, Chick-fil-A sauce, and the Polynesian sauce. Then here we got the deluxe sandwich. So it's deluxe sandwich, non-spicy. Comes with lettuce, tomatoes, cheese. I think pickles too. I could be wrong about that. But yeah. Woo, chicken sandwich. So can I ask you guys something? So what do you guys watch on YouTube? You watch other delivery drivers or or do you watch gaming? Or do you watch other like lifestyle YouTuber, vloggers? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, for me, I've been watching a lot of Steph Graham, which he's like a personal finance guy. Pretty boring stuff, but it makes it very interesting. All right, everyone, we are done. I just did my last stop, and I'm gonna show you what's on the iPad. We don't really technically need an iPad, but you do need an Apple product. And the app looks like this. Let me show you right there. Basically, it's just another navigation app for FedEx drivers or FedEx ground drivers. And even on the app description, it says um, it says for Amazon drivers as well. I'm not sure how much Amazon drivers use it. If you're an Amazon driver, let me know if you ever used GroundCloud. And this is what it looks like on the iPad right there. Oh wow, I can actually use this. It has LTE. Is that YouTube? Before we start this review, make sure you subscribe to Laos House. Got some videos. On the channel. This is what it looks like right here. This is the main sh dashboard. So there's my route currently 403. Uh, the mild stops I have today, 133. I guess that doesn't include the pickups because in the morning it's my scanner's at 140. Uh, these are the amount of packages I have to deliver. We got the hours driven today. We got eight and a half, eight and 37 minutes. I think once you log in, that's when it starts. And today's work hours is 8.45. Miles today, didn't track my miles. Miles per week, zero. Stops today, and stops per hour week. What, what just popped up? So since I didn't use the, the GPS in this, 
I guess they didn't clock in the miles nor did it clock the stops but this is what ground cow looks like I'm gonna zoom far back so um, no information is like but yeah see uh, it's more HD than the one I have on my scanner but essentially it's pretty much the same thing um, I can see that it starts from the bottom and works our way up um, all of them are the same colors so that's not a good thing but it does show you which way you you should be going with these little arrows and trails so that's cool uh, we got the manifest yep sensitive information again uh, pretty much uh, all the streets everyone's name the, the sequence number for every package and yep same thing same thing like my scanner it's just it's nice to have like a really big screen I guess so if you're if you're starting off that's good I also have this little gadget thing but it does not fit my iPad for some reason. I guess I need another attachment or something. A uh, time card. Yep, it tells you the time card and shift time. I'm not sure how that works but it just does. Uh, there's also my 15 minute break, 30 minute break. But we don't use this, we use an app called Auto to track our hours. The Auto app right here. And that's an app that looks like that and more settings. Settings, you just put night mode and map preferences and yeah you can customize your map oh look we even have google maps apple maps ways Sinjic. i think that's pretty much gonna end the vlog um i'll show you how to close the scanner once i'm back in the station and i'll see you then so that's the scanner we're gonna press end of day and we're gonna do this this package was not scanned because it was not in my van view closure pretty much um let's see. Put that in, and here's a defect list. Uh, defect list, anything wrong with the truck, you uh, put it down here. And then, but if there's no defects, you press that, save that, your return time, this time 628, and you just press all three times 620 as well. And you ask this rate the sequence, I always say done. A whole bunch of different trucks, small truck, the big truck with the doors, the very smaller truck. And we got the van right there. Here are the conveyor belts and stuff. It's like a little maze in here. Woo! Alright, end of the day guys, and I'll see you later. Oh, forget, forget. Make sure you subscribe. Peace out.